In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for Br2. This is bromine gas. So to do that, the first thing we want to do is look at the Lewis structure for Br2. So here's our Lewis structure, and we can see these two electrons right here. They're shared between the bromine atoms. They form that bond. These out here are lone pair or unbonded electrons. They're kind of on either side. So there's really only one molecular geometry or shape we can have for Br2, and that's just a straight line through it and the bond angle, that would be 180 degrees. So the molecular geometry is linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees for bromine gas. But let's see why that is. So we can consider this to be our bromine atom here. We'll add another bromine atom. So we have two bromine atoms. And no matter how you arrange this, it's a straight line. You have these lone pair electrons on either side, but the molecule is just a straight line. So we say it's linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees. When we have more than two atoms, it gets a little bit more complicated. Often we'll use a chart like this to look at the molecular geometry. So we look at the central atom, how many things it's bonded to. That gives us a steric number, and we look at how many lone pairs are attached. We can use that to figure out the molecular geometry. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description to a video on how to do that. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for Br2. It's linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees. The electron geometry, that's also linear. Thanks for watching.